is going on guys, it's Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to a new video. In today's episode, we've got the FT Goblin right here. And I'm really excited to bring you guys this build video um, because I've actually had a little bit of experience with this in the past. I've never built one personally, but my friend Alexander has. And we've had quite the time getting this thing to fly consistently and perfectly. Um, sometimes there's a little bit too much tail weight and things like that. And it's just, it's, it's been taking a lot of fine tuning to get that thing to fly well. But when it has, it's a lot of fun. To a bank and yank plane that's nice and fast and obviously very FPV capable if you know anything about the ready-made RC Goblin here. But yeah, that's right at my alley. Of course, all these planes you can see in the back are bank and yank. Um, good, fast airplanes that I really like from flight tests. So yeah, um, got our two sheets of Adams ready board here. Uh, pretty simple um, in that regard. I'm going to get this build started. For electronics, we've got a uh, 30 amp ZTW ESC, uh, pretty simple, and a Sunny Sky 2207S. This is a 2700 kV model, so I've run the 2100 kV in the Aero, Sparrow, and the Vector, but this one is 2700 kV, which should add some added punch and speed. Um, and with that, of course, we need to go a little bit more conservative on the prop. So we're going to be starting off with this uh, Diatone 5x4 prop. I'm just going to keep these conservative um, just because this 2700 kv is going to be a little bit more sensitive to burning out especially when you're running a higher load through it then we're going to upgrade to this gem fan um uh, 5152 high speed race quad prop that you've seen probably on some of my other builds as well as um uh, after that we can go up to a bull nose prop this is a 6x45 bull nose prop that should have a lot of good thrust to it and if we ever get there we can go for the 6x45 uh, by 3 tri-blade prop right here that I, you see me running on some of the planes back there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, my prop and motor setup. Receivers, pretty simple. Lemon RX, uh, six channel with satellite. Really love these. They've been super consistent. Um, and I've had some issues in the past with these things, but that satellite makes it all better. Nice and consistent and very economically priced, as well as two Tower Pro SG90 uh, servos right here that are gonna drop right in the wings. Um, and these are nice and consistent and inexpensive as well. Um, for my battery, I'm running a Tattoo 1300 milliamp hour pack, but we might upgrade that to a 2200 um, so that we can have some added flight times. And um, obviously, if we're gonna go FPV, you obviously want that added flight time uh, for that added benefit. Anyway, that's it for my electronics. We've got the foam, we've got the tape, we've got everything we need to get this build done. So I'm gonna get started on it and I'll send you guys over to the time lapse and update you guys if anything happens. Alright guys, so as you can see, I finished up the build for the FT Goblin, and I love this thing. It's looking super solid, um, very clean altogether. It took me about three hours total to get from the plans to the plane, so it's a really respectable build time, especially for a scratch build. Let's go ahead and just jump right into the build notes, and we're going to start off with the nose. I think this is the hardest section of this plane to get put together, um, especially as a scratch build. Uh, you got to make sure your curves are absolutely perfect, otherwise they're not going to match up perfectly with the curves on the fuselage, um, as well as just this little a curve right here it's doubler reinforced on the inside uh, so I didn't get it quite perfectly um, thankfully I was able to cover up my blemishes in tape um, just for ob obviously flight durability as well um, so it's, it's just not a big deal it's just if I do this again I'm definitely going to pay a little bit more attention and be more careful when building my nose so yeah that's pretty simple um, also under the nose you can see we added a significant amount of uh, nose weight right here we got two um, nuts right here as well as one big nut on the top um, and that's going to compensate for my smaller battery and just make this a little bit more of a nose heavy uh, tendency 
uh, on this plane in general. Uh, so hopefully that's going to make it fly well. I did uh, make sure, of course, that the CG was all balanced out properly as the plans describe um, for this plane. Um, also, I did have to go ahead and glue in my X260 connector um, right here. And you can see that my uh, ZTW ESC has a very short stem on it. So I had to make a little modification there as well as I mounted my receiver right on the wing right here um, with the 90 degree antennas in comparison to the satellite. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a pretty standard stuff. Um, if you guys watch any of my builds, I'm just adding nose weight and receiver ESC and antenna placement. That's all pretty simple. Um, no slides on pretty well. I added this uh, barbecue skewer to do some spacing um, and make it look a little bit cleaner in the end. But other than that, um, that's pretty much it for my build nose. Everything else is pretty solid and I think it's one of my cleaner scratch builds I've ever done. Now in terms of setup for this plane, as you can see, we're running pretty low rates on here um, just for the beginning. You guys know that I love my loops, I love my barrel rolls, but it's important when you're mating planes obviously to dumb it down so it's not too sensitive and you end up crashing the plane because you can't get control of it. Anyway, we got, of course, ailerons, elevator, pretty simple um, elevon setup. We've got servo horns for our control horns on the surfaces right there. And I do that a lot because obviously I don't want to, you know, completely ha keep having to buy uh, control horns right there. Um, but it also adds a nice amount of adjustability if you do it consistently. Um, and that, that's good. Uh, one other thing I have to mention about this build uh, with the wings is that my servos actually do not line up flush with the wing right here. Um, they stick up about probably a, a millimeter or two, um, which is a little bit you know annoying but it's not that big of a deal it's just surprising since these are standard SG90 servos that are extremely popular in this industry um, and they're used widely so I'm, I'm surprised that they don't quite fit all the way down but it's not a big deal it's not gonna affect the flight performance it's just just something that kind of caught me off guard anyway um, other than that I did do some digging around online for setup on um, tips and guidelines for this plane and I was recommended to use a little bit of Elevon reflex about a foam boards thickness um, on here so I went ahead and dialed that in and that will also help with how this plane uh, behaves in the air um, especially on that maiden flight so we don't have any issues so yeah other than that i think the goblin is ready for the maiden flight um, we've got our five by four prop right here let's do a little um speed test it has a very very nice sound on here as well as of course it has thrust for days and i'm really excited to get this thing up in there should be a fast and fun bank and yank plane um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get to the outro here. Stay tuned for a maiden video coming very soon. I'm excited to get this thing up in the air, and hopefully the weather conditions will be improving so we can have a nice video coming out soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.